Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and today we will tour the amazing Cape Verde. In this video, we will embark on a journey through an archipelago full of natural beauty, vibrant culture, and fascinating history. From the golden beaches of Sal and Boa Vista to the green valleys of Santo Anteo and the lively urban life of Praia, Cape Verde offers a unique mix of landscapes and experiences. We will explore its infectious music, its colorful festivals, and its delicious cuisine. We will discover the warmth and hospitality of its people, as well as the traditions that make Cape Verde a truly special destination. Join me on this incredible adventure to discover everything Cape Verde has to offer. Hello everyone, I'm Andy. And I will accompany you on this wonderful journey through Cap Vide. Are you ready for a new adventure? Come on! Cape Verde! The Republic of Cape Verde is an archipelagic state in West Africa located in the Atlantic Ocean, approximately 1,000 kilometers southwest of the Canary Islands and 460 kilometers west of the coast of Senegal. Capital, Praia. The official language of Cape Verde is Portuguese. Cape Verdean Creole, based on Portuguese but grammatically and phonetically influenced by African languages, is also widely spoken. The currency of Cape Verde is the Cape Verdean Escudo, CVE. One Cape Verdean Escudo equals 0.0099 United States dollar. The population is predominantly Catholic, although this faith often intertwines with indigenous beliefs. There are small Protestant communities. Cape Verde has a subtropical and dry climate. Throughout the year, it enjoys a wonderful climate with trade winds cooling the islands, making the high temperatures more tolerable. Cape Verde looks like a wonderful place to visit. Now let's get to the news. Come on! Current situation of the country. Cape Verde is a presidential republic that gained independence from Portugal in 1975. The Constitution, 1980, stipulates that presidential and prime ministerial elections must be held every five years. Representatives of the General Assembly must also be elected by direct vote. The Supreme Court, which holds judicial power, is appointed by the President and the Prime Minister. Cape Verde suffers from a scarcity of natural resources, including water, exacerbated by prolonged droughts and poor soil on various islands. Its economy is service-oriented, with trade, transport, tourism, and public services accounting for about three-quarters of its GDP. Despite nearly 70% of the population living in rural areas, agriculture and livestock farming are underdeveloped and contribute little to the GDP. About 82% of food must be imported. Fishing, particularly lobster and tuna, holds potential. What to see and do in Cape Verde? 1. Paul Valley, Santo Anteo Island, a place that seems taken from a fiction story, a natural gem for hiking enthusiasts offering trails and panoramas to get lost in. The valley, as wild as it is domesticated, thanks to the agriculture in the area, offers a rolling landscape dotted with small villages where one can rest and refuel with some Creole snacks before resuming the hike. 2. Santa Maria Beach, Sal Island possibly one of the most frequented beaches by travelers, and for good reason. Its long stretch of crystal clear waters and golden sand makes it an attractive spot, ideal for both relaxation and water sports, especially windsurfing and kitesurfing in winter. Bars and venues along the coast and a fishing pier where you can watch daily activities are part of the attractions of this interesting spot in Sal. 3. Viana Desert, Boa Vista Island, a continuation of the Sahara in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, resulting from trade winds carrying sand from the continent. The result is an expanse of white sand dunes interspersed with volcanic rocks, shrubs, and palm trees. The contrast of this space with the rest of the island's landscape makes it a key destination, ideal for exploring on foot and enjoying the sunrise and sunset. Typical dish of Cape Verde. The national dish is cachupa, a stew made with two kinds of corn, for types of beans, and fish or meat. It is accompanied by yam, cassava, and sweet potato. This was all about your current situation, now let's get to your curiosities. Come on! Interesting facts about Cape Verde. 1. The islands of Cape Verde were used by the Portuguese for the slave trade and as a resupply point for transatlantic maritime transport and whaling. 
2. Santiago Island is the largest both in size and population, and it is home to the capital of Cape Verde, Praia. 3. The second largest island is Santo Anteo, and its main attraction is its verticality. This fact attracts many tourists who enjoy hiking through its gorges, canyons, and valleys. 4. Many Jews settled in the Cape Verde Islands escaping the Inquisition. Others were forced to work on the islands and in other Portuguese colonies. Although in the 19th and 20th centuries they mostly relocated to Morocco, many Jewish graves can still be seen in Sao Anteo and Brava. 5. One of the saddest facts about Cape Verde is that it suffers from unstoppable desertification. Droughts and wind erosion are to blame, as even when it rains abundantly, the soil is too hot for the water to penetrate beyond the surface layers, preventing arid areas from turning green. 6. One of the most interesting facts about Cape Verde is turtle nesting. It is the third most important nesting site for loggerhead turtles in the world. These turtles come to lay their eggs on the country's sandy beaches. 7. Darwin stayed in the Cape Verde Islands from January 16th to February 7th, 1832. He studied and collected samples of plants, rocks, and animals there. 8. Christopher Columbus also visited Boa Vista, one of the Cape Verdean Islands, in 1498. 9. Less appreciated visitors were pirates who raided the island several times between 1582 and 1585. 10. The capital of Sal is called Aspargos, which means asparagus, named for the large number of wild asparagus that grew near the city. This was all about its incredible curiosities of Cape Verde. Now let's go back in time and see its history. Come on! History about Cape Verde Cape Verde is an archipelago located in the Central Atlantic, discovered by Portuguese explorers in 1456. There was no indigenous population on the islands before the Europeans arrived. Portugal colonized Cape Verde, turning it into an important center for the trade of African slaves to America. Its strategic position also facilitated maritime and commercial activities. In the 19th century, with the abolition of slavery, Cape Verde faced economic difficulties and massive emigration. Famine and drought severely affected the population. In the mid-20th century, independence movements began to take shape. Amilcar Cabral led the anti-colonial struggle, which culminated in Cape Verde's independence from Portugal on July 5, 1975. After independence, the country consolidated as a stable democracy. In 1991, Cape Verde held its first multi-party elections, marking the beginning of a period of political stability and economic growth. Today, Cape Verde is known for its human development and democratic stability in Africa, with an economy focused on tourism, fishing, and remittances from immigrants. This was all about Cape Verde. Now let's get to some questions for fun. Come on!